you know, try to make this actionable for our viewers in terms of how would you play this trade? Um, I think, look, when you look at the mega banks, you know, there's really, really only minute differences in the overall strategy. I think that probably Sumitomo Bank, uh, SMBC, um, Sumitomo Bank, SMFG, uh, as it's called there, um, you know, is probably in a better position than the other companies. Um, and also, you know, you do find that the Mizuho, uh, you know, does have a very, very high gearing. Um, in contrast, I think, you know, the Red Bank, uh, Mitsubishi Bank, Bank, um, you know, they've got higher exposure overseas in the United States of America. And if you do think that there's going to be a downturn, a recession in America, my preferred order would be um, SMFG, Sumitomo Financial Group, Mizuho, and then the MUFG. And what about the insurers? Um, I think for the insurance companies, Daiichi Life, um, you know, from my perspective, is just such a well-managed company. They're making excellent inroads into uh, Asia Pacific in particular. So I think that uh, Daiichi Life, I think, would be my preferred, my preferred pick. Yeah, look at all of those insurers. They're just going through the roof. Uh, Daiichi Life, as we speak, 6.5%. Uh, and it's only done 15% over the last uh, three months. Uh, uh, yes, but I just want to get your sense in on uh, the bond purchase program as well, which has been extended to now 9 trillion yen, and we just get that flash back up again from 7.3. Uh, you know, how are you, how, how is this balancing act going to come by? Because yes, they want price stability. Uh, they want to, uh, you know, manage uh, the import costs, which have been rising because of a weaker yen. Wage inflation needs to be managed, but also you have to simultaneously manage a slowing economy. And so how are you looking at the extended and additional bond purchase program, which will kick in December 22nd, which is a day after tomorrow? Look, the key issue is, you know, the, the need for more Bank of Japan bond purchases signaling the cooperation with the Treasury, with the Ministry of Finance, because Prime Minister Kishida, um, you know, has just ratified a huge, I mean, a doubling of defense spending, which in the initial stages is going to be funded through additional bond issuance. So I think that what Governor Kuroda, what the Bank of Japan is signaling here is that, yes, greater operational flexibility, uh, you know, upping the cap on the 10-year bond yield from a quarter of a percent to 50 basis points. That allows some operational flexibility, but at the same time, building up the war chest of potentially, if the market does have indigestion because of Kishida's um, expansionary fiscal policy, if there is indigestion, the ammunition, the potential for purchases to defend that 0.5 new target has actually been increased.